Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm smoking a, a very good blend, Erinmore Flake. I really like it. And I'm smoking it into my favorite Italian pipe. This is an old pipe made in Torino. It's, they're not made anymore by Diapede. I have two Diapede pipes. They're both great. Very, very light. And they have a different way of making the, the rim and the ball. This has a fantastic looking sandblast. And their uh, trademark, it's a green dot. See? I had a little bit of a rough time, but now I'm a little bit better. I haven't watched any, almost any videos. Pretty damn good, adding more flake. Because I told my friend Lars I will show him my uh, 320. So I had 320s, two KS ones, new models. I had the Piano Forte and uh, this one. This is a bigger version of a 320. It is called 320 Hercules, Hercules. XS so it's a little bit bigger than normal but I kept this one because it has a vulcanite stem and it has a much better mouthpiece than the newer ones that are fat all the way to the bottom yeah so I kept one it's not actually I think I only smoked it once I really prefer this kind of pipes in much thinner balls and uh, much lighter but 320 is a pretty cool shape another one of my italian favorite pipes is this uh, mastro de paia canadian it's a newer pipe it's from the 90s it's a little bit heavier i have this savinelli I kept it because rarely Italians make a, a classic shape well and this is a very well made Lovat, especially that it's thicker here and it's tapering like all straight and, and uh, bent classic shapes, they are always thicker here and tapering down and thinner here. See? Yeah. Newer pipe makers don't take that in consideration. And uh, I've seen some Lovats made by uh, LCS Briar, and uh, they just look like a tube, or they're actually thicker here, which is. See, this is the iPad, it's thicker here and tapering all the time. See? And. Uh, yeah, I've seen some new LCS briars and uh, some other pipe makers that they try to make a few classic shapes, but no. My favorite time of the year is coming, Christmas. But I'm afraid that this will be another year that we won't have snow and cold. I have my window open and I'm uh, wearing short sleeves and I'm afraid that it will be a summery California-like Christmas.
I've been watching uh, to Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando is my favorite actor, and uh, now I'm watching the second movie this day. I've watched The Ugly Americans, and I think this one it's called The Chase. But my favorite movie with Marlon it's uh, Last Tango in Paris. I don't know what's in uh, in Erin Moore Flake, but it tastes like burley and it has a molasses like sweetness, which I like very much. Medium strength. A little bit nutty and floral. Very nice. Because somebody asked if I dump ashes, of course, from time to time I just poke the tobacco like this, I throw away the ashes like this, then again I'm using the temper very gently, never pressing the tobacco, never, only the ashes. So it's a, a little bit of ashes left, you just arrange them, and that's it. This is the the best, the cheapest and the best torch lighter yet. They are much better than my Zippos and my um, um, old boy style uh, lighter. For people that think that uh, pipe smoking is just uh, done by non-inhaling, you have to rethink that. Please watch Tom Eltang in interviews, he's inhaling, he's even saying that in a video, former Lars Ivarsson, a lot of people in Europe smoke the pipe just like cigarettes, just that tobacco is, is not in a in a cigarette, it's just put in a pipe and smoke just like cigarettes. Yeah, a lot of people in Northern Europe, in France, inhale the, of course, you don't inhale the very, the hard aromatics, but there are tobaccos like Vincent Manil, like Orlik, Golden Slice. People that smoke, uh, inhale, I really like those those blends for that I'm not always inhaling but from time to time I do it okay guys I send you all my love bye